Hello everybody, it's Howard Partridge and I am with Mr. Tom Ziegler at Ziegler Headquarters and uh, we are going to take a quick tour. Tom is going to walk us around the building a little bit. It's uh, so exciting to be here at Zig Ziegler Headquarters. Zig Ziegler is an American legend and uh, just has blessed my life so much and uh, we spent a whole day today doing business planning uh, it's been awesome, but I just want to catch a quick video for those of you that have never had the pleasure of being here because there's some really cool stuff that you'd like to see. All right. So, Tom, show us around. All right. So, when you come in, the first thing that you'll notice when you walk in is you'll see Dad's Wall of Gratitude. Hmm. So, these are the 26 men and women who all have had a significant impact in his life. Okay. Uh, different races, creeds, religions... Every single one of these people took time uh, to inspire Dad, to direct him. And he'll even tell you that a couple of them he didn't like. Wow. But he knew that they had his best interest at heart. Wow, okay. And so he listened to them. And then later he learned to love them. Wow. So your mentor, the person who really guides and directs you, can come from all walks of life. Yeah, you bet. And also we have several of our testimonial books uh, we literally get dozens and dozens every week from all over the world. And probably and in his heyday, he just got just thousands. bombarded, yeah. In fact, there was a time where we didn't count them, we weighed them. You weighed them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so real quick, I know that we got a lot of stuff to look look at, but uh, there's uh, your grandmother, Zig's mom, right. the redhead, yeah. uh, Gene, his wife, married what, 65 years? 65 years, just celebrated 65 years of marriage. And uh, Sister Jessie, who led him to the Lord. Right. Okay. Susan. That's my sister, Susie. Yep. And? Uh, First grade teacher. Okay. And she, the story there is uh, he had every childhood disease there was. And she went to his house twice a week and tutored him. Wow. In first grade because he was too sick to go. Isn't that amazing? If she hadn't done that, he wouldn't have graduated when he did. He would have been drafted into the military instead of being able to opt in. Yeah. And it would have changed. The, he, he probably wouldn't have been able to go into the Navy, which means he wouldn't have met Mom. Wow. All these different wow. things. Wow. Yeah, everything's all, connected. All these things are connected. And then Mary Kay and a lot of great people. Dr. There. Cooper. Dr. Fred Cooper. Smith. Oh, where's Fred Smith? Okay, there's right Fred there. Smith right That's there. Dad's mentor. Yeah. Wisest man I've ever met. And this is Lori. I like her. Dad's assistant. <laughs> She'll be here 35 years this year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. She was nice enough to edit my book, which was awesome. You come down the hall, there's uh, George and Barbara Bush, and uh, Dad's friends with them, and they've spoken many times together. We do a lot of stuff with the military, a lot of training, and uh, so this is just some of the people we work with. And uh, I know, Howard, you did the same thing, but... Uh, different companies have helped us support the military. Yeah, yeah. And we appreciate that so much. Yeah. Uh, Reagan, of course, we're big Reagan fans here. And, of course, the Constitution, the Founding Fathers. Dad's kind of a history buff. So everything that has to go on with that is uh, kind of his first love, is he loves that. As we, as we come down the hall, here's some more military. And, and then uh, Dad's pump. This is one. Woo! This is one of his pumps, so if you've ever heard him do the water pump call. Yeah, the famous pump. I'm taking that this, home with me, by this, the way. Yeah, this is the, this is the water pump. Uh -huh. And on the water pump, uh, I've actually carried this all over the country. Be safe going Have you? home. And okay, thanks, Kayla. Good to see you. Thank you so much. I've actually carried this all over the country, and right after 9-11... We got searched all the time. <laughs> What's in that thing? <laughs> they don't like bringing water pumps on. Stage. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Here are just a few of the awards. Um, we we literally have a um, storage room full of awards. Wow. Uh, but we decided to scale it down a little bit. Yeah. And uh, these are just a few of them. I love these uh, vintage pictures of him uh, speaking to thousands of people. So, and that picture that looks like a lot like you in your office. Yep, so zoom in. Okay. That's me when I was 16 years old. Oh, wow. Uh, right right there. There, okay. Yep. Got it. And so, and that's actually on the cover of our Secrets of Closing the Sale uh, 
one of our old albums that we did. Uh-huh. That was a cover shot for one of our old albums, See Put Your Clothes in a Cell. Not the new one, but one of the old ones. And you had long hair, didn't you? Yeah. All the old book covers. Yep, all the different books. Uh, Born to Win, which is the new book coming out in January, uh, will be, I think, the 31st book that's come out. 31 books. And Biscuits, wow. Fleas, and Pump Handles, the one you were just looking at, was yep. the first one that came out, and it uh, got renamed See You at the Top. And it sold how many copies? Uh, well over 2 million, I believe. Wow. Look at that. And then here we have books. a few of the bookcases with all of the, like here's the See You at the Top. That's probably the first edition. Now this is the ninth printing Okay. Uh, after Biscuits, Fleas. But we started keeping every edition as they came out. And then we started keeping all the foreign languages. Wow, so look at that. over 40 different languages the books have been printed in. Wow. So actually, this is See You at the Top. Look at that. So we've what got languages, well, whatever we, that is. It's probably Japanese uh, Korean. Or oh, this is Japanese. Japanese. So you read it from right to left. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? So there you are. So all the different languages, all the different editions. Yep. Awesome, awesome. Um, love it, love it. And that's the one of the capstones from one of the other buildings that we had earlier on. And, um, so this is just, you know, a, a quick piece just of a history. Quick. Dad offices from home now. Yeah. Otherwise, we would show you his office, but it's a long drive over there. <laughs> long drive over there, huh? And, you know, just more awards and, and things through the years. Yeah, totally cool. So here's uh, George Bush Sr. again. Who's this right here? Uh, that is an admiral, an admiral, I believe. Uh, Rear admiral, like Ben uh, Staker or something like that. Okay. Jack Kemp? Yeah, Dad was good friends with Jack Kemp. Mm. And it's funny, you see the eagles that we have here. Mm -hmm. There's one there, there's one up here. Um, Remember when we had the Bicentennial, 1776? Yeah. Eagles were really big back then because of the Bicentennial. Right, right. Every time Dad spoke, as as a speaker gift, they would give him an eagle statue. At the end of 1776, we had like a flock of eagles in the house. Dozens and dozens of them. End of 1996. He's only 84, yeah. right? Don't make him 200 and Yeah, so in 1976. <laughs> 1976. Guys, just wanted to give you a peek. I know there's so much more to see. The, the recording studio's over here. The offices are over there. And, uh, but just wanted to give you a, a quick sneak peek. We've had a great day uh, here Fantastic together. Fantastic day. And uh, our passion is your phenomenal success. Make it a better than good day. Take care.